Hi, Frederick. Hello. How, how are you? We're doing well over here. I'm a little tired, but we're well breathing. Yeah, we have a situation with the coronavirus in your location. In our, we force it to stay at home for at least one week or more. Yeah, I've, um, in the Bay Area, we've basically told people to stay home. Um, you know, and it's, it is uh, legally enforceable for the past two weeks. And uh, the fact that we're not in the news, but New York is, I think it's working for us. Yeah. So I feel bad for and the people in New York, it's, it's getting really bad over there. Like over, I think they said over half the cases in the United States are now in New York or in New York City, I think. So I hope uh, I hope it gets a lot better over there for them. It's not, it's not looking good. Yeah. Based on what I've uh, personally understand uh, for such epidemics, it's about uh, from 15 to 17 percent people should uh, uh, take this virus and uh, fight it and be okay and just after it in most situations it will be normal so the question is for the uh, hospitals and so on to take this amount of persons Yeah, because I think once you have it, I think they were saying that you then have antibodies um, uh, in order to fight it. So. Yeah. So our work is best <laughs> in the world since we could work from homes without any problems. Yeah, and one thing to to be careful with, and um, and I don't know what the situation is like there anymore. If you're able to to leave the, the house yet or not, but um, a lot of people get very stressed out when they can't leave the uh, the home, and especially when if they have uh, if there's any problems with families at home. Yeah. So, so be um, I guess. I don't know what the rules are or laws are over there in regards to that with places and so on, but you know, if you see someone who's struggling and you can help them out in some way, then you know, it's um, it, it could it could be helpful. You know, Ed plan to join or not? Now Ed's uh, been pulled into a um, into a meeting that he cannot avoid at at this point. So uh, I had a talk with him yesterday about it, and um, um, he was uh, he was quite bummed out. Yeah, I'm chatting yeah. with my document for callbacks. Yeah, I think he got pulled into a meeting and the meeting doesn't end until 10 a.m. Pacific time, so quite late for you all. Uh, Actually, so it's probably... when you daylight savings was applied, it was a bit easier for us since it become one hour earlier. But mostly it's okay since we work with Bay Area and have uh, some time to discuss. It's absolutely normal. So, not worry about it. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, and I shall see you. Yeah, we can, we, we can have a talk on it. And uh, I think, um, I think the three of us need to, to sit down and just talk about uh, like, what are the uh, what are the problems that we're trying to trying to solve with uh, with the callbacks? Because there, there may be other things we can do to simplify the code base that that make it a bit easier. And so, so I think if we we'll we'll have a conversation later on though. 
and see and see what uh, and see what we can do. Yeah, uh, we actually discussed it with Ed uh, at the moment on the document with uh, comments. So probably you can also join and check. Uh, Okay. Um, should we um, should we also get started and go over some of the uh, some of the statuses? Yeah. We have few persons uh, missing on this week, and we have uh, Artyom joining the team. Welcome, Artyom. Uh, we decided with Denise that Artyom will take care about the VPP WireGuard plugin. Uh, task since he has a C and C++ background. So I think it will be a good starting point for him uh, with a project. Uh, Denise cool. has started to work uh, into the use cases of area of in, interdomain. Uh, you propose it with a statement of work and I'm looking for other areas and working on the callbacks. Also, we have some uh, small pull requests in SDK related to, to the testing mostly. So actually, week was not very productive because a lot of persons uh, have some PTOs on the last week because of this coronavirus stuff. No, it's fully, perfectly understandable. And so, you know, it's best, best people's health is is uh, first. Well, welcome, welcome to the. Yeah. Also, welcome to the team, Artem. It's good. Good to meet you. So, uh, for these uh, topics, uh, we, we with Denise created uh, issues in a monorepo. So uh, I think it could be a good place to put more information into. Uh, they started to write some use case and document, so we will do the same. At the moment, I've assigned uh, SR IOV to Alexander, uh, OPA policies uh, to Sergey, and I think Dmitry will help in this area. Uh, wire guard is to Artyom and inter domain to Denise and I will help I think in we'll dig into all areas and we'll help guys. So statement of work looks uh, as a good directions to us. Cool. So I will get that sent off on my side so we can get it all taken care of. And uh, we'll close up the last one as well. Okay, I'm not sure Ed is going to join or not. No, Ed will not be able to join it uh, today because he's, he's stuck in that, uh, in that uh, meeting for uh, for Cisco. Mm, ah, okay. So we can meet in next meeting, in the community meeting, if nothing more you want to discuss uh, at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't think I have uh, uh, anything else to, to uh, discuss at this particular time. So yeah, let's, uh, let's reconvene in about 20 minutes. Yep. Okay. See you. Yeah. See you. Thanks.